yes, I'm still wearing the same outfit that I was on my previous video, but I had the amount of time to record twice today. So I also wanted to talk to you guys today about um, impaction and kind of how to figure out if your animal is in, your lizard is impact or and how to treat it and um, kind of the signs that you can tell that it's impacted. Basically, everything you need to know about impaction. So first of all, I want to talk about the signs, and this isn't necessarily checking. It's just some things that you can kind of tell if your animal is impacted. Number one is irregular eating, and then number two is irregular bowel movement, and number three is irregular walking. And these can all be at once. It can all be, or they can be separate. Um, usually irregular their bowel movements or irregular eating is kind of a sign that it's starting, your animal is starting to get impacted, but um, if your animal just isn't walking right and their back legs are very stiff, that means that your animal is probably pretty severely um, impacted and I would seek a veterinarian if that is possible. So I got Casper out to help me show you guys how to check to see if they're impacted and um, what you want to do is lift up lift them up to see their underbelly and if there is a large dark spot and it will be very prominent he has a dark spot a light dark spot but that's just his normal bowel movement but if it's a very dark prominent um, dark spot then they probably aren't impacted, and that is the um, impaction that you're seeing. I also want to talk to you guys about some treatments you could do, and these are in or what I would do in order to um, ensure that if one doesn't work, then the other one will work. If the next one doesn't work, then the other one will work. First of all, a heat pad on the stomach kind of gets the bowel movement going. Second of all, a warm bath and the warmness of the bath will help get that moving as well as the water get help get things moving as well. And um, then if that doesn't work, then a light massage on the stomach. Sorry, Casper's running away. He's trying to find a hiding spot. Are you trying to hide? Um, and then a light massage on the stomach, but not too hard because they can obviously feel it. Um, and then a olive oil is a good laxative for them or um, vegetable oil, but I prefer olive oil. Um, just put a drop or two on their nose and they can lick it up. Don't put a whole lot. And if they just aren't licking it off their nose, then you could put a drop or two in their water, in their cage as well. And if any of these don't work, then I would definitely see your vet. And even if the um, heating pad or the bath doesn't work, then I would definitely see a vet. Um, even if you think that your animal might be having issues, um, if you have any signs, um, first thing you should do is call your vet. So that is all the advice I can give you on impaction and these tools definitely have helped me in the past and I hope that they will help you as well. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Say bye Caspi.